Hi guys, just an update. Goodness, there's still a power cut. I need to get out, work, and I'm not getting around to doing it fast enough. Um, like seriously, I'm so flat. This camera quality is gonna be lackluster because the sun is setting. I didn't expect the power to leave at this time. <sighs> Lord have mercy, as in, I don't know what we're getting. I just, I don't know. I was looking for a light. Um, that I could carry around as I do this recording to improve lighting, but um, can't find it for whatever reason. <sighs> okay, look, I hope not to be long. Hopefully, this is just gonna be me getting out there what needs to be spoken. So it is 1600 hours past, uh, so a couple of minutes past 1600 hours, like 48 minutes past. Don't know, going on five. I suspect the power left at 4 pm. I was busy doing TikToks, so I didn't notice. I don't know, they're so arbitrary. It could have just left at 1700, uh, so at, at 17 minutes past four or something. And I am so backlogged, it's ridiculous. And this morning I was woken up, Gaspi Saparafini, because there's no respect up in this joint for me, but it's all right, whatever. Oh, yeah, so I'm backlogged. If the situation continues, which it likely will, I mean, this is South Africa, I'm probably going to be backlogged three weeks. 21 days, you're okay. Today is um, my. Day before, by the way, my 20th day and my 21 day fast. So we're at the end of the fast and while I've conquered the problem that I was struggling with in starting to fast in the first place, I'm now dealing with a country that's frankly like a little devil walking around. It's just hopping, okay? Making like a diabolo, say in the abyss or something. Guys, um, South Africa is a challenge for me. I desperately want to leave the country. Desperately, like with every bone in my body, not only because of the power cuts, I could actually take the power cuts in my stride, the way that the rest of the country actually does. If at all the nation had not spat me out like I was phlegm or something. I've been severely uh, discombobulated by their concerted efforts to destroy my entire future. And I'm sitting around gathering dust on the daily, trying to build my life again with absolutely no support. So I want to leave the country purely because it is defeatist against the cause of Christians. And I am a Christian and I have an intention to do the work of the gospel where it is that I can. So this country is like Horizon and Beth Sedai. Frankly, the law said that I, I should like dust my feet off. Uh, or Bethsaida, I should just like dust my, my feet off because it'll be a better day on the day of judgment for uh, for, for those um, for Sodom and Gomorrah and Sidon and Tyre than it would be for South Africa. So I want to leave because it's, it's very anti-Christ, even though it looks like that's not the case. The country appears to be serving of believers, but you would know if you live, let's use the world superpower. Don't know what in the world that is. There's a funny sound. Let's use the world superpower. Uh, the United States of America, it is apparently a God-serving nation. Um, one nation under God, that's what they call themselves. They've got God even in their, like, dollar bill. However, they've also got the eye of Horus there, so we don't really know what's going on. Yeah, the United States of America is a country that claims itself Christian, and yet there are soccer coaches having to deal with a case at the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, because they prayed on a stadium. A field after a match so you know what I mean when I say South Africa claims to be God-fearing but it actually is not even low-key persecuting of Christians what's going on with me ain't low-key this is just like loco of my country so I do want to leave I don't know where to because it's like go where you know that scene in body snatchers go where because there's no one out there like you left I don't know where to go. I had these dreams to go to the UK. Uh, the, who's this? Has just recently stepped down Boris Johnson because, you know, corruption. It's like everybody is corrupt everywhere. I wanted to go to Australia, but then they were busy sitting on civilians' necks for not taking the vaccine or wearing a mask. I wanted to go somewhere in Europe, but then, you know, they invaded Ukraine and now everybody's going crazy. And Emmanuel Macron is thinking about starting a Roman Empire with the very disbanded Boris Johnson. And so we're looking at what would be the beast kingdom rising up. It's just not safe anywhere, okay? Like when, where, Lord, shall I, when shall I put my feet? When shall I land my feet? I don't know. I do want to leave. Maybe really what I should say is I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go to heaven. The rapture would be the best thing to happen right now, but 
Guys, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it basic. Rapture watchers, I love you. There was a time when I was inside that like mild psychosis because it is a sort of a psychosis. Um, it's not safe just to lean on the rapture, especially when you look at the world. It is a psychosis, guys. You should be looking at nothing but the rapture to get out of darkness. Only look at the planet, man. Like there is such a battle between good and evil right now that you can't imagine that the Lord is going to leave people behind that um, are being conquered or won over for the kingdom of heaven precisely because wickedness is on the increase. I have noticed that this is what is going on and I'm just like more so determined not to just sit around waiting for the rapture. In the US, world superpower, like if they faltered to irreconcilable levels, guys, to Christ that is, then, then maybe we should just grab, you know, like some water, drink it, put a wet cloth on our foreheads to cool our fever. Because, goodness, it's obviously over. But if the U.S. Is, is, is repenting, if the U.S., the United States of America, if they're repenting, then, guys, we are probably still going to be here for a minute. Um, the coach that was faced with the Supreme Court case, he won it. Uh, so, to uh, what is this? Are people actively coming up against the woke agenda? Like, I have noticed that uh, schools in the U.S., apparently ever since the pandemic, so they intended it for evil, but the Lord used it for good. Yeah, um, hey, that random pandemonious pandemic that slapped us in the 2019 year. Uh, corona, na, 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 didn't say it. All right, uh, Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, no, if I just add a whole bunch of my language, that's just excellent, eh? If I speak my language, every so often just throw in some Tswana, throw in a little bit of Zulu, YouTube is like, and it starts to like, you know, have a little bit of a, like, a seizure on the floor. I've noticed even with subtitles, like if you try to get subtitles, but you say even one Tswana word, YouTube, YouTube glitches, it's like, eh, eh, eh. So I can't do it. So the way that I protect myself from censoring is just go like the last one and I got a reason to talk about life in the whole time. I know it's going to go to the ball. No, 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 no to recognize Spanish, like those main languages that are very popular in the world, like Chinese, pretty much the languages there by the Georgia Guidestones that have fallen to the ground. Ancient Sanskrit, if you can speak it, maybe YouTube algorithms will pick it up. English, YouTube algorithms will pick it up. Chinese, YouTube algorithms will pick it up. I believe French and Spanish, like just like some popular languages in the world. So if you do buy them, can make the way to get my life again. But I'm gonna not have a cut of my cut, let it let right. But I can't have a cut of second. And I don't come around over the way to get my life again. But what is Corona? My life is a virus because how we do a Corona grand shop in my language again. Get something else. We're not gonna Corona because I get a good pronunciation. Get pronunciation in my life. So I get a Corona. I get a Corona. Oh, I want me, me, little topo. When I say Corona, <laughs> in Zwana, it just sounds like Corona. Like, really, like seriously? So don't nobody come here and, and, and bleep me. So that, that that's a way around the algorithm. That's how you beat it, eh? That's how you deal with Facebook moderators and YouTube moderators and TikTok moderators that are trying to like slap you silly with, what do you call this thing? Misinformation. Just slap them on my ring my life. Another black guy. And then carry on speaking with English and your English um, viewers will hang on just, you know, for the season when you're busy rolling in some funny little language and in that way you're protected. Uh, yeah, so I have yet to get any of my very taboo um, topics brought down. Then again, that might be because I'm a very tiny YouTuber. Uh, if they go and they grab themselves a Zulu interpreter, a South African person in their moderating team. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna make life a little bit tough. But anyway, whatever, I don't care. Uh, until we get to that day, we're gonna be cool. Until we get to a day where they incorporate all the world's languages in moderation, we can trust that we still can speak in code. And that code doesn't even have to be binary code. It doesn't even have to be Morse code. It can be whatever other language you speak, if at all is not on the Georgia Guidestones that are currently decimated. Um, and that's another thing. That makes me believe that the rapture is not quite what it is that we're looking for, guys. Um, 
not right now i don't know there's just too much of a battle between good and evil and a win of good that is making me kind of realize that it would be strange if the lord came and raptured his church now um due to the fact that the church appears to be winning apparently ever since corona came on the scene um so many the pandemic so many parents um in the united states like started to move their children over to christian schools they were getting emptied so christianity was on the decline christianity was being rejected uh parents were extracting their children out from these schools because they were basically being sinful in and of themselves and now uh, apparently they went from being kind of empty to waiting lists like waiting lists to bring their kids in and it's also because of this woke agenda where they're trying to teach kids sex there is a story doing the rounds right now where they are bringing in some woman who owns an adult shop that sells all different kinds of uh things that will make you cringe and scream how anybody could go and remanufacture that and an and animate thing right yeah to children and these kids are being trained some funny stuff sexually in that space in an adult shop so these are the things that are going on in the world and so because of these increases of insanity on the earth people are then taking their children over to be registered in christian schools meaning that parents are going back to biblical christianity and they're raising their children up in biblical christianity and so god will likely give them mercy he says if you repent i will stay my wrath the rapture is an act of wrath by god he is taking his kids and he is saying it's over for everybody else if you want to repent repent but you're going to have to deal with the tribulation but if people are actively turning their hearts over because they can see the judgment of god in the sky or because they are turned off by the wickedness of man then there's time guys there's time and uh so i can't just sit on the rapture but my life is really rough i can't even do my edits i can't do anything because i live in a stupid country i want to leave but it appears there's no way for me to land my feet so uh i just wanted to come and give you guys an update on what's going on like i'm behind in the worst way and if south africa doesn't repent take me please Motivate for me, take me please And there's no place for me to sit in here Please motivate for me Take me please, please I think that's a pretty compelling argument to anybody at all that wants to help a sister get out. Alrighty, otherwise I guess we just kind of write it out. So I'm going to be doing these tiny little 12 minute, 10 minute, 13 minute videos just to give you an update that I've got big chunky meaty vlogs, blogs, videos, whatever, that I cannot even get around to editing because... Whatever, South Africa. Like, whatever. Bye guys.